Whenever we're drawing a building, we may need to have certain elements be locked in place so that we don't accidentally move them. One of those kinds of items is going to be your structural grids, and we can see those grids here, the lines with the circles here at the top. In order to be able to lock these in place, the fastest way to execute the pin command would be to window around everything we have on the screen and then just select those items we want to have pinned or be locked in place so they can't be moved. To do this, move your mouse up so that the cursor is in the upper right hand side of the screen, hold your mouse button down, window around everything on the screen, and then let go of the mouse button. This is going to highlight everything in the model in blue. But the only thing that we want to have selected are these lines with the circles. To do it, click on Filter. Here we'll see every element that we have selected. Move over to the Check None button. Now none of them are selected. And put a check next to Grids so that only these 22 grids are highlighted. And select on OK. Now that we have our structural grid bubbles highlighted so that we can go through the pinning process, move up here and select on the little pin head up here at the top. This has automatically pinned each and every one of these column grids. If we zoom in, we'll see that we can still select on them, but we can no longer move them from side to side. If we ever did want to come back in here and make a modification to them, it'd be simple enough to do. All we would need to do is select on this little pin head in order to unlock it, and then we'd be able to move this from side to side. And if we wanted to lock it again, just click on the little pin head once more, and that would lock it back in place. But there will be conditions where we don't want to be able to select on the structural grids at all. Even though they're pinned, sometimes if you select on them, they kind of get in the way. You might accidentally snap to them when you don't want to. In order to prevent this, in the lower right-hand side of the screen, you'll see something that also looks like a pin head. And this is Select Pinned Elements. If you select on that, you'll notice that if you window around or try to select on any of these lines, anything that's currently pinned, you will not be able to do a selection for. If we ever need to come back in and make a selection, you can come back down here again and select on that Select Pinned Elements command. And now you can see that we can highlight on it, unpin it if we wished, and be able to make our changes. So pinning an element inside of Revit means to select on it, come up to the little pin head tool, select on pin, and that element will then stay pinned in its position so it cannot be moved, edited, or adjusted.